Hi, World Tempest family. Welcome back once again to our little series of videos that we're doing just in Dubai Watch Week for you, for your enjoyment, for your pleasure, for you to learn new things about beautiful watches and beautiful stories behind them every day. Who we have with us here today, right now, is uh, Mr. Dermy. Hello. I don't make me say your last name. Teach me how to pronounce it right, please. That's actually a good start. Aji Down. It's like Aji, A-J-I, Aji, mm -hmm. and Down. Aji Down. Aji Down, so you don't pronounce the H. Aji Down. So Aji Down, so Jeremy Aji Down. You see, that's a great, I mean, you're starting off already, you've learned something new, I'm not going to forget that now. No, you can't. <laughs> and I'll also actually give you the meaning. The meaning is actually warrior. Oh, wow. Aji Down actually means warrior because... Um, okay. Better be careful. Aji, Aji in, the, in the Yoruba Nigerian language means wake up. Mm -hmm. uh, and Down means ready to make action. Oh, so okay. in the ancestral days, uh, when the villages, the tribal villages were getting attacked, mm -hmm. it was my family that they were waking up, that were waking up first mm -hmm. and leading the line. Oh my goodness. Uh, against the other villages who were coming in. So, Aji Down. So, You've got that warrior spirit. I've got that warrior. In fact, it, it was funny when I was at an embassy just getting a visa and somebody said, who is Aji Down? And I sort of thought, what's the problem? And I said, me. He said, oh yeah, that's a powerful name. Ah, know, yes. So, yeah, so it's, it's something that people notice. But nowadays, in the modern world, you, you're no longer like a warrior tribe. You, you, what, are you, <laughs> what are you battling for? You're battling to bring uh, the, the, the very best of luxury watchmaking into, into, into your market, into, yeah. to, 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 uh, and to people who really enjoy luxury watchmaking in Nigeria. Yeah, that's, that, that's it. It's a battle, yeah. So I'm still a warrior. I'm still, you know, fighting the battle. Um, a 21st century yeah, warrior. A 21st century warrior. Because because, because, yeah, my, my whole dream is a bridge to Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, I, um, Africans are consuming so much luxury around the world. And I've had these conversations with so many CEOs. I was, in fact, I had lunch today with, uh, with uh, Haji Hamid Siddiqui. You mm -hmm. know, and um, he was saying how Nigerians are some of his, perhaps they could be in his top three in terms of clients, mm -hmm. you know. And I said, exactly, that's why you're my biggest challenge, mm -hmm. you know. Because they're very passionate in their buying, they're very adventurous as well. Oh, they are, they are, they're absolutely fantastic, you know. So, um, we want to bring more brands into Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, we want, you see, what, what you don't know, um, you're sometimes fearful of. Yeah. You know, so the brands don't know Nigeria, they don't know Africa, mm -hmm. so they're a bit distant from it. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to bridge that, um, yeah. that distance. Especially so. Swiss companies, Swiss watchmaking companies, which can be, shall we uh, dare to use the word conservative? Yes, like, <laughs> like all other things Switzerland, like all other things Swiss. But having said that, having said that, I will give them a lot of credit. Mm -hmm. They, they <coughs> once they take the first leap, Mm -hmm. You know, they are quite They're with proactive. you 100%. Yeah, they're, they're with you. They're with you. It's, 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 it's very interesting. Very much the, like the Nigerian buyer. Once they're with you, they're with you 100%. Oh, the Nigerian buyer is, is, the, is the best buyer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Once he wants it, you know, he just starts bringing the cash out of his pro pocket. <laughs> you know, that's, a big, that's a big problem. We all, say, I think we all like customers like that. No, 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 cash, 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 cash. No, mm -hmm. no, no cash. In fact, I was, I was in Knightsbridge in London mm -hmm. and there was this Nigerian client. I didn't know him. I was, mm -hmm. And he came in to buy a couple of Rolexes. Mm -hmm. And when they had finished the deal with the, he just brought a plastic bag from the floor somewhere and he just started rolling out these pound notes. Oh my goodness. And all the guys in, 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 in the watches of Switzerland started shouting, no, 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 no. We, we can't do that. We don't, we don't do that, do that anymore. <laughs> it was. It was hilarious. So but it's, it's great to, to see that kind of exuberance and that kind of energy in the watch buying market. I think it's something that we all need nowadays. Look, it seems as if people are very into watches, right? We've, we've had COVID, we've had uh, this so-called slowdown, but mm -hmm. why are watch companies posting crazy digit numbers? I mm -hmm. mean, if everybody's 20% up, 30% up, I said, look, are you all fixing these numbers or is this a real reality? But it well, seems as if it's real. Maybe it's something to do with the fact that people are realizing that, you know, like maybe life is short, you should enjoy while you can and, you know, take the pleasure to, 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 to indulge in it and really stop putting off that day and stop, you know, if you like that watch, you should buy it. If you really enjoy something, go for it. Maybe it's yeah. a, a bit like that. I think it definitely is that people want to enjoy their lives. They don't want to wait mm -hmm. so much longer anymore. Um, and you're seeing a lot of the younger people also actually appreciating watches. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody thought that we were going to be in this age of the ultimate smart watch, everything. No, but yeah. I actually see young people wanting to um, 
get into your brightenings, your tight hoyers, your you know, and it, yeah. it's very interesting in, and, and complications. Is the is the youth market coming a lot uh, coming up really really strongly in Nigeria? Yes, of course we have this disproportionate um, wealth of rich and poor. Mm -hmm. So our middle class is still not strong enough yet to mm -hmm. buttress that market. So in, in our business, where we have what I would call I don't like to use the word mid-level, mm -hmm. uh, but you know you have the ultimate luxury ones, and yeah. then you have your four thousand, five thousand range. Um, the market segments. Ma yeah. Let's call uh, let's call it the market segments. Um, we tend to have success there where people are gifting. Uh huh. Yeah. So fifty percent of our sales that we would have in that segment is where people are saying, okay, this is a good price to use as a gift to weddings to what. What is a what is a good price for a watch for a wedding gift? I'd like to get that sort of wedding gift. Oh, I get that. I get that. I, I had, a, I had a, a, a wedding where I had to do his and hers 40 pairs. Yes, but yes, 40 pairs. His and hers. Okay, I won't mention the brand though. But, but 40 <laughs> pairs for guests? Yes, for, for guests. Ah, I see. All the I husbands and wives that were coming to that wedding mm -hmm. were going to get his and hers watch. Okay. So Outside what the people getting married were going to get. That was So the like a wedding that only couples wedding gift. Hang on. A wedding that only couples were invited to? Well, <laughs> no, there were there were singles invited, but the couples got oh, the watch. Oh, but they didn't get the watch. Exactly. What did the, what did the singles get? <laughs> that I'm not sure. <laughs> that I'm not sure. Well, hopefully they found a partner there and then at the next wedding they get a watch. Exactly, exactly. But um, it's becoming popular his and hers. So like in, okay, so what's the good price for a wedding watch? You know, in the future, in case I, you know, have to have to do a bit of a watch giving of my own. Hey, Never know. It's good. You, it's information. You know, you know this better than me. It's, it's good information to know. Oh no, no. There's nobody who knows this information better than you. A good price for a wedding watch? Come on, you tell me. Like honestly, I gotta say that as as the editor of a watch magazine, I I don't pay as much attention to prices as I should because I try to focus on the mechanical beauty and the mechanical value of a watch. Okay. That Whereas obviously someone who is more centered towards the retail and distribution sure. side of things, it, you know, knowing the numbers is part of your job. It's sure, it's really sure. essential. Sure, you're you're you're, you're right. So um, that's a part of the knowledge of the watch. Yeah, I really probably don't have as much. From, from the experience that I've had, I mean, it can, you know, as a wedding gift for his and hers again, which we get a lot of requests, it can range anything from $10,000 to $250,000. US? Yeah, okay. we, we, we've done, you know, we, generally the men's will be without stones mm -hmm. uh, of a particular brand and then the ladies will be fully encrusted and so on and so forth yeah mm -hmm. it, it can be we we've been very successful with a um, few of the louis vuitton brands mm -hmm. uh, because they seem to be great brand names mm -hmm. and very recognizable oh yes and with a good price point mm -hmm. you know so those have been they really uh, offer good value yeah they really okay that's the, that's the best word yeah. so we've been successful with that you're not just active in uh, nigeria as well i mean your distribution uh, side of uh, activities brings you also to ghana i believe yes it does is it that does. A, a comparable market do, do things really work in kind of the same way uh, are they very different from country to country even if they're quite close very different, very different. You know, it's like, um, would we say Switzerland is, or Geneva is similar to Paris? No, um, and that's how you'd com compare Lagos mm -hmm. or Abuja to Accra, you mm -hmm. know. Number one, it's um, a completely different size point. I mean, Accra is, you know, please, all the people in Ghana, you forgive me. <laughs> this is uh, with no uh, insult to Ghana, but um, it's one state of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You know, but they are great people. They're, they're not as um, boisterous as Nigerians. Mm -hmm. you they're know. a bit more low-key. Yeah, they're not as spontaneous as Nigerians. They think through mm -hmm. what uh, they're doing. They think through what they're saying. A Nigerian <laughs> doesn't think you through what they're saying. You could say that a Ghanaian, yeah. a Ghanaian is the wise Nigerian. No, I can't say that. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> I can't, I can't say that, but I just say they think through what they're saying. Mm -hmm. A Nigerian just says whatever he wants to say. He's got no filter. 
That's good. Spontaneity is good, but also, you know, thinking about your words before you say them can also well, be a Well, that thing. spontaneity leads to the, the watch sale. That's where we were coming from, where we said that the Nigerian just comes, he sees, he doesn't even, you know, you're, you're trying to tell it's him. It's very instinctive with him. But you're trying to tell him about the watch and he's not even listening to you. Mm -hmm. He's just sort of picking the watch, looking, banging it on the table sometimes, <laughs> making sure nothing falls apart. Okay, I like this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, how much? He just um, okay. He doesn't want the box. He doesn't want the warranty. He wants to take it and go. He just wants to. He just wants to go. Yeah. And but then when he's going, he will ask you, oh, "What's the name of this watch?" Oh, that's perfect. It's, so, it's madness. I've but, seen this too many times. But that kind of tells me a lot about the brands that you do carry and that you do distribute because they tend to be brands that appeal very immediately, instinctively. It's not something that you have to sit down and take the time to discover. They all have a very strong and immediate and direct appeal it's like a uh, like for example uh, one of the brands we were talking about earlier that we love very much at world tempest which is uh, the Betune. Mm, great it's brand. A, the Betune is a is a brand with the, the kind of designs even though mechanically they are superb they are exceptional they are such beautiful movements within but very much I mean, very often, it's their designs that really grab the eye, first of all. And yeah. then, when you learn more about it, then you get rewarded with all this knowledge and appreciation of fine watchmaking, of how many hours it takes to, you know, uh, assemble a watch, you know, how much expertise and innovation creation goes into it. But, of course, that sort of really avant-garde kind of design really catches the eye right away. And uh, is, is, is the best tune something that uh, Nigerian customers are really sort of pushing for? Are they, are they more and more starting to appreciate this brand, which is getting more and more of a high profile in the world, I would say? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, definitely. <coughs> and you, 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 you said it. Um, traditionally, um, it's been the obvious brands. Uh, we won't mention those <laughs> ultra obvious brands that mm -hmm. everybody wants to pick up as if uh, they're buying uh, oranges. Mm -hmm. um, but the independents, starting with the Debatune, yes, um, they're beginning to appreciate. It's mm -hmm. a smaller group of collectors, of course. Yes. Um, I have several clients who already owed Debatune, so they mm -hmm. know it, and so they're always looking forward to new Debatunes coming out. Mm -hmm. um, they're very loyal. They they like the they, brand. They, they follow the brand. Once you've they owned, understand. once you've owned the Debatune. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. One, you always want to wear That's it. That's true. Because it is such a comfortable watch. Have you taken many of them to the Division Manufacturing in South Park? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately mm -hmm. not. You know, in, in, in Nigeria, we always have this issue, as you will know from trying to always get me on the interviews, um, <laughs> sometimes we're not that well scheduled. <laughs> yeah, um. Sometimes we're not that well scheduled. So. We have That's why they need so many watches to well, keep them on time. We have these VIPs that you have, <laughs> you make all the appointments, uh, even the private jet is sitting there waiting to take them and suddenly his secretary is phoning that Alaji has flown somewhere else, you know, and you just spoke to him half an hour ago. I mean, it's so, it drives you, it dri I, I've had, I've, I've had a team of 12 people going for a, a talk to Switzerland mm -hmm. on a private jet and out of 12, four showed up. Oh yeah, because the CEO had gone somewhere or somebody had come from OPEC to see the guy. Mm -hmm. He's got to see the president. He's got to, oh, you know. So it's always very... <laughs> so that's why you do what you do as a retail <laughs> and distributor. If you can't bring them to Debetune, you've got to bring Debetune to them. I've got to bring Debetune to them. <laughs> so I've always encouraged my guys, my friends, you know, the guys at Debetune are fantastic people. You they know? are. Jörg is, Jörg is actually like a kid brother to me. They're you know? such and an amazing known, team. I've known him for such a long time. And uh, yeah, I've known him for such a long time. We have a lot of fun <laughs> together. And um, Pierre, Pierre is. Um, well, he's we, all, a we all know Pierre in the industry. He's a he's a maverick. You know, he's mm -hmm. done so much, and he's done such a great job reviving. Not reviving, because I don't think Debatune needed reviving. Yeah. But he's given it a fresh impetus that has um, mm -hmm. literally made it the leading brand, the leading independent brand in the world. Do you, speaking of leading brands in the world that are you know, recognised by consumers and within the industry as well, because we know that Debetune has recently received a, a number of uh, industry accolades, such as the Egon Fridology de Genève, which uh, we saw I voted you there. for. <laughs> <laughs> Vote a secret, Jeremy, we're not oh, going to say that. Oh, sorry! We'll, we'll, we'll cut that out, it's fine. No, we won't. Well, is it secret but after it's done? <laughs> here's the thing. Um, do, you sure think, do, you think, do you think this sort of uh, uh, thing uh, really uh, matters to uh, Nigerian customers? It's something that, oh, this is an award-winning brand and this is, uh, increases the value of the brand and the watch in my eyes. I'm very proud to be wearing this watch because it, it won an award. Ah, 
That's a very good question because this is my 2022 project. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, We're getting a sneak peek, guys. Yeah, of the this, is, this is my 2022 project uh, because I want to work very strongly with GPHG. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I think uh, we want to bring them into Nigeria mm -hmm. to have a few exhibitions. Amazing. Uh, um, People will love it. Yeah, we, we, we started discussing all this. Um, we were going to do it actually before pre-COVID, uh -huh. but of course we all know what changed. So now that 2022, I want to make the Nigerian consumer understand mm -hmm. the value of such an award. Mm -hmm. You know, because Nigerians love awards. Mm -hmm. So once they understand the value of that, that kind of recognition. That's the word, thank you. Mm -hmm. they, they, they're just going to... Um, and the same thing with um, many of the other brands who want recognition. You mm -hmm. know? So Nigerians like recognition, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, they don't, they're don't. they not fully aware of that show and that award mm -hmm. system. So 2022, it's all going to be... You're going to see a lot of uh, PR and uh, information that we're going to put out on that. What's your favorite personal experience or anecdote or story about the veteran? Wow, I'm not sure I'm allowed to. I can even say it on. Well, well your, your second favorite, uh, yeah. one that you can't tell. <laughs> um, it's important to say things that can be said on video. <laughs> yeah, but um, that first favorite is not possible. It's you, okay. you, you have to ask Jurgen. You, you'll that. tell me afterwards. Oh, <laughs> I'm not even sure I can do that. <laughs> but no that, problem. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not even Dead. sure I can do that. Um, if Jörg is ever going to watch this, then he can tell. He, he can tell Let's it move himself. on swiftly to your next favorite <laughs> okay. story about yes, the exactly. tune. Okay. This is, we're getting into that, dangerous it, territory. It, it, no, it wasn't that bad. Oh my, yes. Um, <clears throat> What's your Dubai. favorite story that you can tell, like. Funny, uh, Dubai. Our, our mm -hmm. Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. Pre COVID, um, I think uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, they had taken a beautiful suite in the address downtown. Mm -hmm. um, they had a beautiful showroom. Um, each morning would have breakfast in their, in their suite. Um, all their watches would be beautifully laid out. And that particular year was when they did Starry Sky. And it was, <gasps> yeah, and wow. I mean, it was just boom. It was just mind blowing. You saw that watch first time. And then you now brought that watch out into the Dubai sun mm -hmm. overlooking, you know, the address has that water lake yes. in front and then you've got the boat it's to sparkle. buy. Yeah, it, it was, it, it, and every morning I'd actually go out, just have to breakfast, just to, just to actually do that. So that was amazing. absolutely, that was an amazing, amazing, and it's still an experience that I take with me. I, I still dream about that particular experience. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love it. I love that watch. Um, I can never get tired of dreaming about that watch. Isn't it's that the best thing that you can say about a watch that it makes you dream? Oh yeah, I, I I cannot, each time I see it, I just, oohs and ahs, and um, I love many watches, but that's mm -hmm. just um, outstanding. Speaking of uh, mm. watches that make us dream, <laughs> we've been waiting a long time to uh, get this watch into the spotlight, and it's been waiting very patiently, even though it is a star. Mm. I think you'll agree it's a star. Mm. It is the new uh, DB25 QP that's just been launched at Dubai Watch Week. Uh, it's a very limited, it's a very special edition made just for Dubai Watch Week. Uh, to say um, appreciation of the the Siddiqui family who's made all this fa uh, all this possible for us to be here in this wonderful place, interacting with each other, seeing old friends in such a beautiful environment. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, click over to. By the way, amazing show. Yes, no, absolutely, amazing, 100%. amazing show. The Siddiqui, I mean, I'm, I'm kudos blown, I'm to. Blown, I'm blown away. Yeah, but this isn't your first time at Dubai Watch Week, is it? Well, it is actually. Oh my yes, goodness, it, is, it, it certainly is. isn't going to be your last. No, 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 this is, um, I'm, I'm hooked. So, I'm just giving you a little peek at the new DB25, uh, mm. Perpetual Canada, the new DB25 QP, as it's going to be known from now. Because as you guys do know, uh, the veteran, they have had uh, Perpetual Canada's before. Uh, those who are familiar with the brand will uh, no, absolutely. We'll find this absolutely familiar. Uh, the movement, um, the configuration of the dial, the, the design attributes that we see here, how it's laid out in a very legible yet compact, very clean way with all the beautiful textures on the dial. But uh, here to tell you more about it, uh, probably in more detail with more expertise than I can, is uh, the CEO of the best unit, Pierre Jacques. So, uh, click over to the next part of this video where we will have a one-on-one -on -one 
hands-on presentation of the new DB25 QP with Pierre Jacques, CEO of the Best Tune. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, do remember to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you again real soon. Bye. Bye.